What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another Steam Deck video. And my last video was running Flight Simulator on the Steam Deck with Windows 11 and showing the issues I've had on Steam OS and that I couldn't get the fix to work for me. So I actually wound up doing a factory restore of my deck, re-imaging it, downloading Flight Sim and then doing the fix again and it is working for me and it seems to have solved some other hiccups I was having with my deck as well. So anyway, we're back working well here and I want to show this fix, at least for now, that gets this to work. It could become irrelevant to any time with any kind of updates, but for now this is what we've got. So prior to the fix, if you were to launch the game, at some point here you're going to fail out or get this window pop up or crash and you're not going to be able to get everything loaded into the game. I would typically get this window, the assertion failure, uh, twice before going hard crash. I could hide the window, go back over, and the game would continue to load up to 49%, but then eventually go ahead and crash out. Now, getting into what the fix is here, this is going to be for Proton Experimental and a launch option command line you're going to need to use. So we're going to use Force Compatibility Layer, Proton Experimental, but also you're going to need to change Proton Experimental over to a beta version. So go into your library and search for Proton. You're going to want to come down here and find Proton Experimental, select that, and then go over to the gear icon for properties. You come down here to betas, and then you'll see the beta participation. Yours probably says none as default. You're going to want to go into this menu and select the bleeding edge latest and untested DXVK, the one I have here uh, on mine. So that's the first part of what we need to get the game to launch and run here on Steam OS. So once you've got that set, you've got Proton Experimental ready to go. We're going to go back into the game's properties, double check our force compatibility, and then do the launch option. So, yep, we're still set here. Good to go. We're on the beta bleeding edge. Now go into general and come down here to launch options. You're going to need to put this command line in the DXVK underscore HDR equals zero, and then you have space, your percent, command percent there. And I'll put this in a description as well. So you need these two parts, the Proton Experimental running on that beta bleeding edge, and these launch options put into the general properties as well. Once you have that, the game should work fine for you. Something was causing me an issue where this wasn't working prior to my factory restore, re-image, but now it is launching and working here for me on SteamOS with this. It still has some hiccups, a little audio glitching here and there, and stuff like that that tends to happen. Not sure if that's part of this where the game is still having issues but anyway able to load all the way through to the end here and get to start or if you haven't logged in yet you might have to log in but it'll get you to there and then into the main menu so we'll take a look at settings i'm not going to do a ton of performance in this video i really wanted to just show the fix but i'll show some areas here and we're running 800p fsr 2 balanced and uh, low end as the preset now i highly recommend if you're really going to try to get the most out of this turn some of this down even further you can still kill some of the terrain detail you can still bring a few more things down lower and if you want to squeeze whatever you can out of this to try to keep it playable you're probably going to want to knock settings even lower than this but for simplicity this is what I've used here. And if you want to take a look at my other video where I test Windows and show some other performance, I'll put a link to that in the description as well. But here on Steam OS, with this fix running, with the game finally launching for me here, depending on where you're at in the game, you're typically 20 to 30, 20 to 35 FPS. Typically, I'm between 20 and 28 in most of the areas that I've tested this with these settings. You can get a little bit more out of it. We are 99% on GPU. You can performance your FSR2 and get a little bit, though picture quality is gonna tank a little. You can also, again, adjust some of those settings manually down a little bit lower, even lower than the low end preset. But as you can see here, as I fly around a little bit, you'll see some, some of what I'm talking about with the performance. It's gonna bounce anywhere between that 20 and 30 something FPS with a majority of the areas that I've now been kind of running around and testing, running like this spot here, 20 to 25, 20 to 28 with occasional dips and occasionally higher. But that's kind of where it's been landing at for me and kind of surprised it's running at all. This game has had a ton of issues since launch on their server side, on hardware. I've even had trouble on the Z1 Extreme handhelds and all that so it's not surprising that there have also been issues here on steam deck as well but at least with this fix implemented for now anyway until we get game updates and other proton updates from valve and all that um we're able to launch the game and try it out and see what performance is like and if it's something you've been wanting to try or to to play on your steam deck it is an option here to launch in and do that xbox cloud gaming is also working and geforce now is uh gonna be bringing this game over to their service as well soon so anyways guys thanks a lot for coming and check out the video i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one